Hi, uh, I just wanted to um, give you guys a quick reminder for how to find the slope, the y-intercept, and write an equation when you have a linear uh, relationship in a table representation. Okay, um, so the first thing we're going to do is slope. Remember that slope, slope is m, which is change in y, divided by change in x. The y is going up by 1. This is your change in y. And I know it's y, so it's change in y. It's going up by 1 every time. So the change in y is plus 1. And the x from negative 2 to 0, that's going up 2. From 0 to 2 is going up 2. Up 2. So the change in x, this is the change in x. If this is x, that's change in x. Okay, so that's going up to. So the slope is one half. Okay. Um, y intercept for this relationship is pretty easy. You just look for the where the x is zero equals six. So the y intercept. Y int is for y intercept. That's b. B equals six. And remember, an equation is y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to take my m value. That goes in for the m. And my b value goes in for the b. y and x uh, need to stay in my, um, in my equation because that's the, the x is the input, y is the output variable. So those have to stick around. So then my equation is going to be y equals m is one half x plus b is six. Oops. Um, in this activity, the first thing you're going to do is practice finding slope um, from a table. The second thing you're going to do is practice finding y-intercept. And then the third thing you're going to do is um, put, them, put both those skills together and find the equation. So make sure you read the directions. Otherwise, the computer is going to tell you that you're wrong. Um, and I thought the whole thing was wrong yesterday, but really, I wasn't reading directions. So read the directions. Okay, have a great day. Good luck. Um, oh, the other thing about y-intercept, sometimes it's not in your table. Sometimes you have to you have to find it. So for example, if I did if I did this, we'll go negative three, negative two, negative one, five, six. right? So if I if I had this table. x equals zero. Oops, you can't see it. If I had this table, um, x equals zero is not here, but I could extend my table. Just extend the pattern. That's your y-intercept. So sometimes you have to extend the pattern. Um, sometimes you, yeah. So finding in between numbers, going forward, going backwards, just use your pattern skills. Um, this is one thing that I think you guys will be really good at because um, your pattern skills are really strong. Okay, good luck.